newcomer of the division. United fans may have feared another anxious wait for the breakthrough, but Roy Aitken posted an early warning. Kevin Brock's dead ball accuracy paved the way after 12 minutes. That hero of the terraces, John Anderson, crashing home a volley that had Mick Quinn looking on in admiration. Two goals in a week for the Irishman. Everyone loves a trier. But it was to be a Scott that proved the commanding influence. Skipper Aitken always seemed to have time on his side. He takes Dylan's return and clips a delightful cross for Kevin Scott to celebrate his late recall with a second goal for the Central Defenders Club. United fans were seeing their team really look promotion candidates. Next, it was Mark McGee taking the chance to return the compliment to the man who's often been his personal provider. Like threading a needle this pass, and Aitken's finish, sharpness itself. Big Roy's first club, and remember, he was brought to sort out the defence. But Newcastle did get sloppy for a spell, giving the ball away needlessly to Steve Agnew. The Barnsley forward's reaction is so positive, tucking the ball away for a fine solo goal. But it proved only a temporary stumble. In the second half, John Gallagher came on to press his claims for a regular place. This effort wasn't far away from number four. Competition for places can only help. Ray Ransom's consistent form has won growing admiration from previous critics. Nobody could complain about this cross, only Gallagher just can't turn it on target. United's fourth finally came on a plate. Again, Ransom's cross, up goes Paul Futcher's arm, and the referee is right there to give the spot kick. Mark McGee knows a free gift when he sees one, and strikes like this will stop Quinn getting any more cheap goals. The fans don't care who scores them. It's number 18 for McGee, though. Still time for keeper Tommy Wright to increase his claims for the number one jersey. Quick reactions for Mark Robinson's shot, protecting the goal 